All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Well, I'm back up in uh, Blue Canyon, the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society's dark site, uh, Bortle 3, up at the Blue Canyon Airport uh, outside Nyack, California. And um, I decided to stop here for the night uh, I'm on my, today is June 28th, the uh, Golden State Star Party up in Aden area of Northern California starts tomorrow, the 29th. And I thought I'd come up here, there's no moon. Uh, seeing conditions are poor, uh, but it's a clear night right now. And I thought I could pick back up on the work I was doing to get the proper offset set for my narrowband filters. And I also thought it was a good opportunity to step through the workflow to do a two-pane uh, mosaic using my ASI 294MM Pro monochrome camera uh, to shoot the Veil Nebula. So, you know, uh, I'm here and I'm gonna make good use of the time. I'm not necessarily gonna do any imaging here tonight, but I'm gonna do a final check on all my equipment, make sure everything is uh, working well and as I expected, uh, I happen to have very good Verizon connectivity uh, here tonight. Uh, you can see my Jackery setup down there with my uh, GL iNet uh, Burl uh, wireless router and my Verizon jetpack down there. Uh, tonight, uh, I'll be managing uh, my B-Link U59 with my uh, laptop my HP uh, Spectre 360, but I also loaded uh, remote, uh, Google Remote Desktop on my Samsung tablet, and I'm able also to connect to the uh, uh, B-Link, and I'll use this during the night to monitor what's happening uh, as I'm imaging, and this is a very low power device, uh, so it'll be easy on the uh, batteries that I have in the van. I do have two uh, 100 amp hour batteries, uh, but uh, I'm you know, all about trying to uh, reduce my power consumption. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out, I've put my uh, QHY Pole Master back on, well, it's never been on my uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount, but I decided to use it and my strategy now is I will use the pole master for kind of roughing in the polar alignment and then I will complete the uh, polar alignment using the uh, three point polar alignment plug-in in Nina uh, to just uh, fine tune it and really dial it in and then that way it will be dialed in uh, through my uh, Xenostar Z61. So uh, that's my approach. Um, I also put on a new dovetail. Uh, I'll have more on that later. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the right dovetail for what I was trying to uh, accomplish, uh, but I have it on there anyway. And uh, that's about it for the moment. Uh, it's about 8.30 at night. I'm waiting for dark uh, to get started. I do have the capability now to do uh, video uh, capture uh, the screen on my uh, U59B link. Uh, I don't have audio capability or camera capability yet, but I think I'll capture some of the uh, uh, screen displays in Nina during the uh, course of the night. And uh, if I'm able to do that, then I'll, uh, I'll share that with you. All right, so uh, as you probably know in this hobby, there's a lot of waiting, so I'm gonna wait. And worst case, I'll put in some screenshots and do a debrief in the morning on how the, uh, how the night went. Well, I was gonna do this uh, update from the uh, Blue Canyon Airport up in uh, Nyack at the uh, Sacramento Valley Astron uh, Astronomical Society uh, dark site. But uh, the night was kind of a disaster and I needed some time to reflect upon what happened in the evening. Here was a trip. Uh, it was my trip to make sure everything was working fine for the uh, star party. I'm coming to you from the Golden State Star Party up in Aden, California. 
and uh, nothing worked that night. I lost uh, control of the declination axis of my German equatorial mount, uh, couldn't get any plate solves to work, um, just uh, one thing after the other. But, you know, I went back and I read the comments that people were kind enough to leave on my I Quit Astrophotography uh, video to kind of put everything into perspective. And so, you know, not knowing what the true issues were, um, I headed out and left Blue Canyon on my way up to Aden, and I had about four hours to think about uh, what happened and, you know, when I get set up here at night, what, you know, what should I expect? Is this going to be a total uh, failure the whole trip, you know? Am I going to work through the issues that I had in Blue Canyon and I wasn't able to work through? So there's just a, a series of things. Uh, one good thing about uh, Blue Canyon is it had excellent uh, Wi-Fi, so I was able to um, load a, a new beta of uh, release to beta 05 of Nina, thinking that that might have been uh, part of my problem. Um, and it, it helped somewhat, but didn't get me all the way to where I wanted to go. Also, I was trying to run OBS Studio on my B-Link U59 uh, mini computer. So I don't know if the introduction of that new software, which I hadn't run on there before, and I wanted to run it to capture some uh, video of the screenshots, I don't know if that was uh, the cause of my um, issue in Blue Canyon. Anyway, I limped in here not knowing what to expect. And, uh, you know, some nights are just kind of like that where things just don't go as expected. Uh, so you'll have to, uh, I've actually imaged last night, but I'm going to save uh, what happened uh, for the next video, just focused here on uh, Golden State Star Party. But, you know, it was just, uh, it was an emotional roller coaster. You know, this was, the Blue Canyon trip was the big, uh, you know, check out of all my gear and the workflow to do a multi, you know, a two panel mosaic and everything. And uh, nah, not a nothing, uh, you know, left just not knowing where all my equipment was. In particular, my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro, uh, I couldn't park it. Um, I couldn't control the deck, uh, declination access. Uh, the right ascension, I was able to move, uh, but just a bunch of things I did not expect. Uh, interestingly, I've talked to a couple of people here at uh, GSSP. Uh, there's about 250 combination of astronomers and uh, astrophotographers. And, you know, uh, same stories as uh, people were kind enough to share in my I Quit uh, astrophotography video that, you know, some nights are just like that. So I tried to keep, keep everything into perspective. All right, so I just wanted to finish off this video. To see what actually happens, you'll have to watch my next video, um, you know, and I'll tell the rest of the story there and share with you if I had was able to accomplish what I had planned to accomplish or not. And if nothing else, uh, sometimes uh, this is just the type of hobby that is just a big uh, learning curve. So, all right. Well, thanks again for dropping into the channel. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.